Today we look at how to create a speed ramp in DaVinci Resolve. This will allow you to speed up part of a clip and add some energy to your footage. I'm here in DaVinci Resolve on the edit page, and I'm using the free version of DaVinci Resolve 20. I do recommend using version 20 because it has a few interface changes that will be relevant for this video. But again, it's the free version, so these techniques will work for everyone. I'll drag my footage down to my timeline here. And you can see it's this video of a golf ball being hit. I think it'd be pretty cool if the club sped up as it hit the ball. So let's look at how we can do that. What I'll first do is right click on my clip here, and I'm going to select Retime Controls. So I'll click this, and now you can see this interface changed here. What I'll do is I'll drag my playhead to the part where I want the club to speed up. So maybe right around there. Now I'll click this drop down here at 100%, and I'm going to say Add a Speed Point. So I'll click this, and you can see some controls got created there. This will allow us to independently change the speed on the left half and the right half. But I just want the middle part of my clip to be sped up, so let's add another speed point. I'll scroll through. Maybe there's where I want it to end. So I'll click the drop down. I'll click add speed point again. And I can see we have this middle area that can be sped up. There's a couple different ways we can change this speed in the middle. Probably the easiest way is to click on the top of these controls here and drag it in. And as I drag it in, you can see the speed is increasing. We're compressing the time that clip takes. I'll press Alt to zoom in a little more. I'll drag it some more. Now if we play through, we can see it speeds up at that part. Now for these controls, we have the top handles and the bottom handles. We can fine tune where our effect starts by using the bottom handles. So right now the club speeds up at this point here. I can make it speed up later. Let's drag this to the right. Maybe we want it to speed up right when it hits the ball. So now if I play through, it speeds up there, and I can change the end of it too. As I click and drag this bottom part, we have a preview of where the effect will end. Let's do it maybe right there. So I can play through, and it speeds up. But I think I want it to speed up a little bit earlier, so I'll drag this back. The top part will change the actual speed. So as I adjust the top part, we saw the middle part speeding up. If I drag this one over here, that'll speed up the first half of the video. But I don't want to do that. Let's put it back to 100. If you want to reset the speed back to normal, you can always click the drop down here and say reset to 100%. So I recommend experimenting with the top and bottom controls to see how they affect the speed. Now technically, we still haven't actually added a speed ramp. When we play our video, it just suddenly changes speed. We want to ease into the effect. To change this, we can use the keyframes tool. So the keyframes tool is accessible from this button up here. It says keyframes. I'll click on it. And now we have this interface here. Let me see if I can drag it over a little bit. If it's too small, you can click this arrow here to undock it, and it'll be bigger. But I'll click the X so it goes back in there. Now first you want to make sure you're on the parameters view. That's this one here, parameters. And then I'll scroll down, and you can see we have these speed options here. The one we care about is retime speed. And here you can see the keyframes we created, which correspond to the points we made over here. Now I want to edit this on the curves screen, so I'll click this curves checkbox here. I'll go up here, I'll disable these ones. I don't want to see those. Now if I click this indicator over here, keyframe curves, we see the graph of our retime curve. I know that because if I hover over it, it says retime speed. And if I go back to the parameters page, you can see retime speed has this curve enabled here. That's what makes it show up on the curve screen. Now you can see the suddenness of this effect here. As time goes from left to right, the value suddenly jumps up here. You can see it's 5.6. That corresponds to 560% down here. I don't want it to be so sudden, so I'm going to click and drag these points, and that selects them. And now I can click one of these smoothing options up here. I'll click this one that says Ease In and Out, so I'll click this. And now you can see it's a much smoother effect. Let's play through, and it eases in and out a little bit more. It's kind of hard to notice exactly on this one, but on longer transitions, it's more noticeable. And this is a speed ramp here. If you want, you can fine-tune the curve. You can click on these handles, drag them in and out. And again, on a short transition like this, you might not notice it, but on a longer change, you might. And even as you change the keyframes here, you can go and modify it again down here. And you can see we're keeping the curve. I'll change where this starts. We can shift it. So it's quite a flexible tool. And when you're done, you can close the keyframes. So here we have our final result. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, check out my crash course video right here on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.